We had a deep marine layer and we even started off with a little bit of drizzle. Uh, and for tomorrow, we're actually going to see similar conditions. And this is why we've got a little cow. It's going to push the clouds in the marine layer produced by that eddy on shore. And as it does, we are going to see this blanket of just low clouds hanging out for a better part of the day. As we go ahead and put this product into motion, you can see that by three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it's going to start to retreat back towards the Pacific, but it doesn't make it all the way into the ocean. It just kind of hangs out along the coastal plain. And that's why tomorrow temperatures are going to be well below average like they were today. And we're going to see more drizzle than we had this morning. And that's for tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, though, as we go ahead and continue to advance it by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, it's going to be a repeat of what we had tonight. And that's because that trough of low pressure is actually hanging around a little bit longer than it was supposed to. But we do have a little bit of good news. Part of the wind advisory has canceled for the Antelope Valley. Now we only have a wind advisory for the Coachella Valley, which is Apple Lucerne. And for Barstow, we're going to see gusts up to 50 miles per hour. So if you're going to be heading out that way, be careful because you could see some blowing dust. Uh, in the Oxnard, the highs for tomorrow, again, well below average. We're talking mid 70s to low 80s. 75 in Riverside, likewise in Ontario, as we swing around towards the Lancaster and Palmdale, we're talking 84 and 85 degrees. All right, seven-day forecast. It's a big weekend, not just the U2 concert, but more importantly,